Hello and welcome to the CSCART video tutorial. My name is Sergey and today we are going to speak about one very pleasant thing for our customers. Gift certificates. Let's roll. Gift certificates are added to the store functionality with gift certificates add-in. Add-ins, manage add-ins. Gift certificates. Let's take a look at the settings. Minimal amount of the default currency in the gift certificates, maximal amount. Code prefix, gift certificates per page, it's for the gift certificates page in the admin panel. Allow to use free products, you can add free products to the gift certificates as a gift. Allow to redeem shipping costs with gift certificates, I think that's clear. Now let's go to the gift certificates page at the admin panel. Marketing gift certificates. There are two ways to add new gift certificates. The first one is from the admin panel with plus button. It can be done by the administrator when the customer calls the administrator or the manager and asks him or her to create a new gift certificate for someone special. Okay, and uh, I think that's clear that the second way is from the storefront. Then the customer, him or herself, goes to the gift certificates page and buy the gift certificate. There is one more interesting thing here. If you click the gear button, you will get an access to the gift certificate statuses. Uh, they show your customers what is going on with their gift certificates. Here you can change its name, email subject, email header, notify customer about changes. Then one or another gift certificate status is chosen. So I guess it's clear you can add new status here, by the way. Now let's proceed to the storefront and buy a gift certificate. Let's go down. Here is a gift certificate page. Doesn't really matter. Add products for gift. Done. Two giftable products. How to send? Send via email or send via postal mail. If you want to send a gift card in an envelope. Okay, let's enter the mail here. Yes, yes, I make a gift to myself, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, preview, add to wishlist, add to cart. Check out. Now we are going to proceed with checkout just like with any other order. No shipping required. Payment. Phone ordering. Submit my order. Done, the order was submitted. Now we need to approve it from the admin panel. Let's take a look at our new gift certificate order. Orders, view orders, order number 100, gift certificate, gift certificate code, add-ins, comments and reviews, we don't need them for now. What else here? Status. Let's make this order to be completed. Done. Status has been changed. After the order was completed, let's proceed to the gift certificate page. Marketing gift certificates. Here we can take a look at the information about our gift certificate current amount. We can edit and delete this gift certificate. Add the new one. Let's change the status of this gift certificate. For example, pending and then back to active. If you click the code of the gift certificate, we will be able to edit it. But uh, we don't need that for now. Let's go to the storefront and buy something with this gift certificate. You need this code, by the way. So I'll copy that. All right, let's go to the storefront. No, 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 sign in.
Gut. And for example, let's get this camera with a discount. Add to cart. Continue shopping. View cart. Give certificate or promo code. Apply. Done. Recalculate. Here we have a gift certificate discount. And here the gift products are presented. If you delete this code from here, the products will also be deleted from the card. Proceed to checkout, continue, order payment, phone ring, submit my order. After the order was submitted, gift certificate status will change to the used one. Let's refresh the page. And now it's used. So this gift certificate is no longer available and the current amount is zero. What else? With the plus button, administrator can manually present gift certificates to the customers. Manually created gift certificates should be activated by the administrator. By default, they will have pending status instead of the active status. That's it about gift certificates. And don't worry about gift certificates getting lost. With the email notifications, your customers won't miss them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCAD video tutorials.